Hey folks, it's Jesse from Filmy Box Woodshop. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this little nightstand that hangs on the side of a raised bed. It's just a few easy steps and can be done with scrap wood laying around your shop. So stay tuned. First, decide on the size of shelf that you wanna make and then cut the bottom and two cleats to length on your miter saw into width on your table saw. I went with 10 inches long by nine inches wide for my base. Your cleats will be the same length as your base and the same width as the rails on the raised bed that you'll be hanging this on. Next, you're going to want to drill about four or five pocket holes in each of the two cleats so that you can attach them to the base. If you don't own a pocket hole jig, then you can pre-drill to the top of the base and attach them with countersunk screws. Now you can go ahead and attach the first cleat flush with the back of the base using your pocket hole screws and wood glue. Now the second cleat's distance will be determined by the width of the rail on the raised bed that you'll be hanging this on. Measure the rail's width and then attach the second cleat so that the rail of the raised bed would fit snug between each cleat. Use a square to ensure everything is lined up and attach it to the base. Next up, you're going to want to make the sides of the nice stand. I made my sides about two inches wide, which made them stick up plenty above the base so that drinks and stuff can't slide off. I cut two of the side pieces to the same width as the base with a 45 degree cut on one end and a 90 degree cut on the other. Then I cut a third piece to the same length as the base with a 45 degree cut on both ends. Now for this next step, I like to lay all the side pieces down in order and with the angle sides down. Then I use a piece of tape to hold the joints together tight. Now I flip the pieces over, add glue, and the tape acts like a hinge when bringing the pieces together, creating a tight fitting miter joint. Since this piece is just getting painted, I used a few brad nails to hold the sides together tight, and then after that you can remove the tape. Now with the sides already assembled, you can just lay the base flat onto the table and then slide your side pieces into place. Go ahead and attach with some wood glue and some brad nails. After using some wood filler to hide the brad nail holes, I sanded everything by hand to 220 and made sure there was no sharp edges anywhere on the piece. Since this shelf is for my daughter's room, she got to pick the paint color, and she picked Ballerina Slipper Pink. So I went ahead and put about three coats on it, and this thing was ready to go. With the nightstand complete, it should slide snug onto the rail of the raised bed and be ready for use. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.